concept of valuation of security. Oscar Wilde once said, What is a cynic? A person who knows the price of everything and value of nothing. This is a very interesting statement of Oscar Wilde. It means that just knowing the price of everything is not enough. To make a good decision related to purchasing or selling an asset, it is very important that we know the true value of that asset. If we do not know the value and just the price, that we may get into losses and we make wrong investment or selling decisions. In this regard, it is extremely important that we need to learn to value the securities where we have to invest. We have talked about equity securities, that is stocks and shares, and we have talked about debt securities, which are basically different types of bonds, and also some short-term securities. Now it is important to calculate their value so that we can compare the value with the price to make the right investment decision. So valuation is a process of scientifically calculating the value of a security which is its true value. But having said this, there are different types of values and one must not get confused among all these values. For example, there is a par value, the value of the smallest piece of the security when the capital is divided into a certain number of stocks or bonds. Similarly, there is a face value, the value written on the face of a document or an instrument. There is a going concern value and there is a market value and there is a liquidation value and there are other values which probably be there. But here when we use the term value of a security, we refer to what is called the intrinsic value of that security. The importance of intrinsic value is that it gives us a right or it gives us the information which is basically needed to make the right financial and investment decisions. The issuer, the company or the authority or the government Whenever they are issuing some of the securities, they also need to know their value. So, the process of book building is done. Book building, there is a process in which we have to do security ki sahi value determine karne ki koshish karte hai, taake usko sahi price ke upar logon ko offer kiya ja sake. The true value to make a good investment decision is actually the intrinsic value of that stock or that bond. The question that why do we value different securities? The answer is that there are different reasons why we calculate different values. But when it comes to security valuation for the purpose of investment or financial decisions, it is basically that we do not want to pay for the purchase of a security more than what is its true value. True value kya hai? Darasal ye wo value hai jo ke us security ki honi chahiye. Ye bhi ek sawaal hai ke kisi security ki value kya honi chahiye. The term intrinsic value refers to the value because of the internal factors. Yani, bohat se external factors, securities ki market value ko tabdeel karte rehte hain. Lekin, jaise hi ye external factors tabdeel hote hain, wo value dobara se tabdeel ho jati hai. But the intrinsic value, which is the value which is from the, within the company, does not change. So, the value actually tells us that how much is the claim of the investor on the assets of the company. This is also uh, true for the stocks. 
and shares and it is also true for bonds because both types of uh, security holders have claim on the assets of the company and there are two very interesting terms which are also need to be understood that we say why securities are valued these terms are called overbought and oversold although these are stock market terms but the financial management student and somebody who is going through security valuation needs to understand it if a stock is selling in the market at a price which is much higher than its intrinsic value we say that the stock is overbought that is this price is not going to sustain for a longer period of time and oversold is the opposite of it that means that the stock is selling in the market at a price much less than its intrinsic value to determine the growth potential of a company we also need to calculate its intrinsic value so that we can set the right price for purchasing that security in the stock market